So this is quite a good question. It usually confuses students at first, but if you just take the time to watch this video and pause if you need to, maybe rewind every now and then, see if you can understand the idea about how we do these questions because teachers like to ask these kind of questions and if you can see how they work, then you'll be absolutely fine. So a tree is purchased from a nursery. At the time of purchase, the tree is one meter tall. After the first year, the tree is 1.8 meters tall and is then 2.28 meters tall after the second year. Thereafter, it will continue to grow by 60% of the previous year. Calculate the maximum height that the tree will ever reach. So what I want you to try to do for now, just so we can start seeing how the numbers come together, is let's see what the tree's height will be after five years. So after the first year, we know that the tree is 1.8 meters tall. After the sec, or let's also add in year zero, just so we can remember what the tree's height was in the beginning, that was one meter. After the second year, it is 2.28 meters tall. And then thereafter, it continues to grow by 60% of the previous year. What we mean by that sentence is, it grows by 60% of the amount that it grew in the previous year. So when going from year one to year two, that is a difference of 0 0.48 meters. So going into year three, it will grow by 60% of that amount. So its new height will be 2.28 plus 60%, which is the same as 0 0.6, times the previous year's growth, which is 0 0.48. That is how trees grow. They grow fast in the beginning and then it becomes less and less each time. So the new height of the tree will be 2.568. So just to save time, we can actually get away with just, we can stop right over there. We don't have to go all the way to year five. And so now we would have to try and form a pattern. Well, to get from one to 1.8, well there you would have to multiply by 1.8 or you could add 1.8, okay? So one of those is gonna have to work. Then to get from 1.8 to 2.28, well, how much would you have to multiply? Well, that's difficult to see, but if we say 2.28 divided by 1.8, that's gonna give us a value of 1.27, okay? So we have a bit of a problem because now we're multiplying by 1.27, or you might be saying, wait, wait, we could just be plusing 0 0.48. Okay, but now there's a bit of an issue because None of those numbers match what we did in the previous one. Nonetheless, let's carry on. So to get from 2.28 to 2.568, well, you could say 2.568. To work out the ratio, you could say 2.568 divided by 2.28, and that's gonna be a ratio of 1.13, or we could realize, see how much we are adding, and that's 0 0.288. So what is going on? Because nothing seems to be staying constant. We're not multiplying by the same number each time. We're not plussing by the same number each time. So there's no pattern. That would be correct. The pattern is not gonna be formed by looking at the total height of the tree. The pattern is gonna be formed by looking at how much the tree grew by each year. So we need to take a look at the growth. Okay, so in this, from year zero to year one, there was growth of 0 0.8 meters. Then from year one to year two, that's 0 0.48. And then from year two to year three, there is growth of 0 0.288. So we could be forming an arithmetic or geometric. So let's take a look. To get from 0 0.8 to 0 0.48, we could be minusing by 0 0.32, or there might be a ratio. Now the ratio is always the second term divided by the first term, and let's see what that gives us. And that's gonna give us 0 0.6. If we then look at the ratio for the next term, which is 0 0.288 divided by 0 0.488, it also gives us 0 0.6. So there we have the ratio. The ratio is in the growth of the tree, not the total height of the tree. And that makes sense. They said that it continues to grow by 60% of the previous year. So because it's growing by a percentage of the previous year, that's gonna form a geometric pattern where the ratio is 0 0.6. So is the pattern with the total height of the tree or the growth? It's the growth, okay? It's, it's, the, it's the amount that the tree grows by. 
So now they're telling us to calculate the maximum height that the tree will reach. Well, now we have an issue because we don't know how long the tree is going to grow for. We don't know if we should do 20 years, 30 years, 40 years. However, if you remember our videos on convergent patterns, we said that if our ratio number is anywhere between minus 1 and 1, then we have a pattern that will converge and it will cause the, the, the sum to eventually stay constant. Now what is the sum in this question? Well, remember the question that we did many videos ago where we had a person who was saving money but the amount that they were saving was becoming less and less. Well in this question the amount of growth is going to become less and less and so the total height of the tree will eventually become constant. Just like in the question with the person saving money their total savings eventually became constant. So we can use the sum to infinity formula. We are allowed to do that whenever they ask us to find the maximum and when it's a geometric and it must be convergent. So r has to be between minus 1 and 1. And our r is, we said that our r value is 0 0.6. So we can use that formula. Now what are we going to use for a? Now this is where many students will say, oh well obviously it's 1 because that's the height of the tree. But remember, our, our pattern is not the total height of the tree, it's the growth. And so the first growth that we had was 0 0.8 meters. Okay, It wasn't the 1 meter, it was the 0 0.8. And even if we did use the 1 meter, I mean sometimes you could use the 1 meter, but check this out. If it's 1 meter in the, for the, for the, in the very beginning, after the first year, if we had to try to grow the tree by 0 0.6, that would only give us a total growth of 0 0.6 meters and so the tree would have to be 1.6 meters at the end of the first year. However, they told us that the tree is 1.8 meters and so the pattern doesn't work from the first year onward. Sometimes it will, but in this case it doesn't. That R value only starts working from year one onwards. So we're going to use 0 0.8 over 1 minus and then the R value we're going to use is 0 0.6. So you see, if we had used if we had used A as 1, which is the initial height of the tree, that wouldn't make sense because the R value going from 1 to 1.8, that R value there is 0 0.8 and not 0 0.6. So we can't use the original height of the tree. We have to use we can only start using that formula from the point when the R value was 0 0.6. I hope that makes sense. Oh, so no, we're not going to use that. So then if we go fill that all in on the calculator, we end up with a total growth of 2. And so the maximum growth that the tree would ever have is 2. So then if you add the maximum growth onto the original height of the tree, which is 1 meter, then this tree will reach a maximum height of 3 meters.